friends, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. We are doing a sold video. So I'm gonna show you a video from last year. It was a Quick Lots, oh, it's such a long name, Quick Lots Nordstrom General Merchandise Half Palette that I bought. And I'm going to show you what things sold for. And if they're still listed, I will put that on the screen. So grab a snack. This is gonna be a long one. I did this once before. Um, on the same palette. So this palette, I did four separate videos unboxing it because it was four huge boxes of product. So I did this once before where I show you everything that sold. Um, so you guys seem to really enjoy it. So let's keep going. I'll try to do these a couple times a month. They are a biatch to edit. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. It takes me very long time to edit these because I have to pull the sold listing, put it on the screen, and just it's a lot. So I'll try to do a couple a month if you guys keep, if you still enjoy them. Let me know in the comments down below. I love watching these types of videos. I find them very informative because you're learning, you know, you're seeing what the person bought, they're unboxing it live, and then you also learn at the same time how much profit they made, what it sold for. So Let's jump into it, grab a snack, a drink. This is gonna be long, and if you like them, I'll keep doing them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see ya in the next one. This palette cost me a thousand bucks, a hundred bucks in shipping. This is the fourth video, the final one. So if you have not seen the other ones, I will link them down below. Let's jump into it. I was thinking that we could do towards the end if you're still here. These videos are very long, grab a snack. If you're still here towards the end, we could do a like what sold because I've been selling some of the items from the palette. So let's jump in. First up from East Pack, we have this new with tags backpack. I've been calling them book bags, but my boyfriend, who's born and raised in San Diego, California, calls them, um, he calls them backpacks. But I grew up calling them book bags. Is that an East Coast thing? Because I grew up in the D.C. area. So I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below what you call this where you live. We call them book bags. I don't know. That, maybe that's like an East Coast thing. But he, he brought it up. He's like, why do you keep calling backpacks book bags? Anyways. New with tags, that's definitely going to uh, sell, hopefully, because school is... I think in L.A., school is going to, like, go through the summer. I don't know if they're stopping school here. I could be wrong. I saw this when I opened the box, and I was like, what is this? So this is a pillow. What is this, a pig? I don't know what this is. You guys comment down below. Anyways, this got sent to Last Chance. And this sold for $8.97. I actually learned something new with this palette. When I bought this palette and I saw all these last chance, I'm sorry, half palette, last chance items, I didn't know what that was. I knew there's Nordstrom. There's Nordstrom Rack. So if things don't sell at Nordstrom, they send it to Nordstrom Rack. Or some things are just specifically made for Nordstrom Rack. And then last chance is like below Nordstrom Rack. It's like a discount like, is the last chance for something to sell from Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. I've never seen one of those here. I want to look up if we have any LA. I feel like we do, but anyways, it's a good place to get discounted stuff. So the items that I see that say last chance, those were eventually sent. It probably started at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. Well, for sure it started at one of those two, didn't sell, went to last chance, and it didn't sell there. So this is Nordstrom at home. And this was $8.97. This is cute. It's in really good condition. It's not dirty at all. So if I can figure out what the heck this is, I'll sell that. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I was so excited when I saw this, you guys. This is an Uppa Baby Vista adapter because this is the stroller I have for my six-month-old son. So it's basically the adapters you use to add another carrier onto the stroller to do two kids to do two kids, to push two kids. I think my stroller can hold up to three. I'm not sure, but um, this is open box. So somebody bought it and returned it. I can tell from the little Nordstrom tag down here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure that this both of the adapters are in here, but I think these are like 40 or 50 bucks. Um, yeah, I've been selling a lot of stuff from this half palette open box. So. If you buy liquidation, if you're new to it, do not let open box scare you away. People will still buy it. I'll tell you some of the items that sold 
towards the end of the video. We have a faux fur. Um, it's an acrylic like shawl thing, but I don't see a brand name. I'll have to use Google Lens to find this. Um, I did a video on using Google Lens. Oh, wait, maybe it's not a shawl because it has like a little strap here. I don't know what this is. Um, I'll have to figure out what that is, but it's in perfect condition. I just can't see the brand name. So I have so many of these cashmere hats. So this is the brand Hologen. It's 100% cashmere hats. I've kept a couple for myself. I'm giving a couple as gifts, but these retail for 39 bucks, and I'm not kidding. In the last three boxes, I probably have about like 50 or 60 of those in different colors. Uh, skims. I'm pretty sure this was a customer return. I did peek in this box. I don't know everything that's in here, but I saw this on top and I was excited. But you guys, this smells like some girl wore this out to party. It smells like sweat and perfume. I'm gonna have to clean it. Um, and then returned it, or maybe she didn't like it for the night. I don't know. But I don't know what it is. Is it just like a tummy thing? Or is this like a, what is this? Cause there's hooks on the back. So do you wear it like that, or is it like a tummy thing? I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but sometimes I've been finding receipts. Oh, there's a tag here. It just says last chance, extra large, $14.97. So I don't know, I'll have to look that up. It's in really good condition. There's no stains or anything. It just <laughs> smells like perfume and a little bit of sweat. Oh man, this is good. I should get this listed before Father's Day. What is this? I think it's like a mixer set. It's a tailored men, menswear, uh, cork coasters, bottle opener, stirrers, whiskey stones, and crew socks. But the whiskey stones came out of the box a little bit, but this has never been opened. Um, this got sent to last chance and it got marked down to $16.97. Jeez, what was it before it got marked down? It's never been open, never been opened, good condition. I'll try to get that listed pretty quickly. Um, we have a baby jogger. What is this? I should know this as a new mama. I think this is another adapter for a, <coughs> a stroller. It says car seat adapter. So may, oh, I think, so you can put this in your car and then put it on the stroller. This has never been opened. This got sent to last chance and it got marked down to $6.97. I love selling stuff like this because parents are always looking for it. Oh Lord, so much jewelry, you guys. I, um, little update on the last three boxes, I'm not exaggerating. I probably received over 200 pieces of jewelry. Uh, that might be exaggerating. At least 100. I say to be modest. I'm just untangling this. I got 100 pieces of jewelry. I think, honestly, it's closer to 200. I did give a huge chunk. I think it was the first or second unboxing. I got a huge chunk of jewelry. I gave it to my mom to untangle. She did an amazing job. She found me multiple necklaces that retailed for over 90 bucks. So I'm glad I had her go through those. I'm going to work on the jewelry just over this, like June will be my month to either sell the jewelry in bulk, list it separately, but we have more jewelry and these are actually in perfect condition. I do have bundles of jewelry listed on my Poshmark. So I have um, some damaged jewelry that I think is like two or three pounds. You, I'll leave a link to that listing down below, but I also have bundles where you could get four pieces of new, excuse me, Nordstrom or Nordstrom rack jewelry for 20 bucks. So if you're interested, check it out. Jewelry for yourself, for gifts, um, like this, Necklace retails for $14.97. This one retails for $12.97. So any of the jewelry that I find that's in really perfect condition, I'm just gonna sell it in that bundle. You can get a bundle of four for 20 bucks. And the broken jewelry that I find, I'm just gonna lot it up, sell it on eBay. I've been selling a lot of the broken jewelry by the pound on eBay and I've actually been doing really well with that, so. Oh gosh, and here's another thing. I've gotten a lot of ties. I counted them the other day and I have 40 ties. This is an original penguin tie. This got sent to last chance, got marked down to $11.97, perfect condition. I think I'm gonna lot some of those ties up and just try to sell them in bulk. I've told you guys, I do not like selling ties. They sit so long, but whatever. Um, This has new with tags. This is an All Saints scarf. 
Oh my god, how much does this retail for? It? 100 bucks. Nice. So this is a customer return because it has the return tag. This is in perfect condition. I mean, it's a little linty, but I'll clean it up. Oh yeah. That may not sell for a while, but I do really well selling all things. I find it actually a lot at the bins here. I get so annoyed with myself when I'm editing and I'm like, here in LA and here in LA, like, shut up, girl. We know you live in LA. You don't need to say it for five seconds. Because <laughs> I was just about to say, here in LA at the bins, I find All Saints all the time. That's how I hear it in my head when I'm editing or when I'm listening to myself. Everybody knows you live in LA, Nikki. Shut up. <laughs> If you're new around here, hey, subscribe. Love ya. These videos have brought some interesting new people to my channel. I feel like my oldies, but my goldies, you guys get me. You know I'm a little kooky. I'm an only child. You know, I, we're just buddies, but like we've been getting a lot of new people watching these videos and some of the comments are just funny. Um, a lot of people think I'm nuts. Halogen hoops, these were customer returns. They're in great condition, but I think the clasp is broken because it won't stay closed. That's a shame. I love hoops. I don't know if hoops are like not in style anymore, but I I just think they're, I love them. I think they're timeless. So uh, this, I just love seeing the customer receipts. So these were purchased at the Valley Fair, Valley Fair store, wherever that is, and they uh, paid $25 for those. So I'll add that to the broken jewelry pile and we'll sell it. More cashmere hats. I love these hats i know it's ridiculous but i would keep all of them i want to donate a couple of them to a woman's shelter because in the winter i know they need stuff like this and it's just it just feels so nice oh god i love the way those feel all right we got lots of jewelry i'm not gonna like bore you guys with all the jewelry unless i see something that stands out these have got to be the tackiest earrings i have ever seen wow ten dollars it's like made of like Ziploc bag material. I don't understand that. I don't understand, I don't understand. Okay, we have a blanket. This is Little Giraffe Ink. Oh, is this for a little baby? It's so soft. Yeah, it's Little Giraffe. Uh, what is it made out of? Machine wash. I might keep this for my baby boy. This is faux fur, 100% poly microfiber yeah I might keep this for Zane one of the things that a lot of people give you when you have a baby I had no idea so many blankets I'm like what the heck am I supposed to do with all these blankets why do people give you so many blankets when you have a baby I'm like I have like 25 bl blankets thank you so much but... all right we have a mug a zoku this is so cute but it is really banged up it looks like literally someone threw it against the wall and like rage. I don't know. There's like scratch marks and stuff. I might just keep this for myself. This is a great gym uh, workout bottle. The inside is in perfect condition. I don't know if this, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's just really banged up. So I'm just going to keep that for myself. We have a lot of halogen cashmere gloves. Um, these, I don't think I have any pink ones. Pink, we have beige. I have so many of these already, you guys. Some more beige ones. We have, I've gotten a couple of these. This black pom-pom hat from, I'm pretty sure this is Treasure and Bond. Ooh, I love selling bras. You guys know that. This, um, bra retails for $59. This is, do you hear my dog barking? This is the brand Elomi, E-L-O-M-I. Hold on. Well, let me show you the bra. Really good size, too. Really pretty. I love selling bras. Let me see what he's barking at. I think there's a delivery. Hang on, friends. All right, I zoomed you in so you could see a little better. I literally have no idea what he was barking about. My poor dog is so old and senile. He's 13. I've had him since he was... Um, two months old and he's just losing it you guys anybody else with a senior pet that's literally just losing their mind like he'll just be sitting normal right and then all of a sudden he'll jump like someone's talking to him and it scares the crap out of me because he'll just go running like someone just called him I'm like what are you seeing right now and hearing that I can't hear <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Coco. I think somebody was just talking to him. I don't know. I didn't see anybody. Anyways, <laughs> more jewelry. You guys tried to tell me how to pronounce this. Bobble bar. Bobble bar. Whatever. Really cute earring is missing. Maybe I'll find the other one because that's in perfect condition. We have some hair clips. Perfect condition. We have a Melrose and Market um, necklace. Originally $12.97. Marked down to $6.49. I'm actually finding jewelry that's in pretty good condition so far. I don't want to jinx it. We have this Capelli New York necklace, but I think it's missing something because there's a lot of extra holes here. So I'll put that in the broken one. We have this gold necklace that says love. I'm pretty sure this isn't real gold. Um, there's no tag. I will keep that for myself. I love wearing stuff like that. Oh God, so much jewelry, you guys. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through all this jewelry unless something stands out. There's just too much. There's just too much. Uh, earrings, earrings that are in perfect condition. Uh, this is a broken necklace. A bag of jewelry that I'll have to go through. I appreciate it being in a bag like this. Thank you, hallelujah. I think it's the second unboxing. If you guys saw that, I pulled out the biggest clump of jewelry that had to be detangled. Go and watch that if you haven't seen it. That was wild. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a pasty for your breasts. I could be wrong, but it's like a little soft tassel thing with a bow. And then on this side is a sticky part where you stick like for your boobies. Okay, girlfriend. We'll see if that comes with something else. We have a Buttercup the Ultimate Blow Drying Tool from Dry Bar. This got sent to Last Chance and got marked down to $40.97. Holy crap, what did this cost originally? This girl was on Shark Tank. I remember her. I am addicted to that show. Anybody else love watching Shark Tank? This is in perfect condition so far. I'll test and make sure it works, but... If this retail, if this got marked down to $40.97, some of these hair tools can be expensive, you guys. So um, I think that's a good find. We'll see. That's never been used. Broken jewelry. Broken jewelry. Jewelry in a bag. Thank God. Retails for $15.97. Uh, earrings. Oh, these earrings are in good condition. The brand is... Araya? It's R-E-A-I. What? A-R-E-A. -E Area. <laughs> Araya. Oh, I need sleep. Uh, this is a necklace, but it's in just like a random plastic bag. It's a rose gold color. I wonder if this is real gold. No. I don't know. There's no brand on it. I'll have to look that up. Really good condition, though. Um, this jewelry was taken better care of than the last couple of bags. I mean, some of it's damaged, but I expect that. I've already told you guys my philosophy on um, liquidation. I expect a certain percentage of it to be damaged. So, Psycho Bunny ties. I got a couple of these in the last one. And Psycho Bunny actually sells for a good amount. Like this new with tags got marked down to $20.97. Uh, I looked it up. I think these ties retail for like over $50. So that's great because that's in great condition. Uh, I have a lot of these ties. Who is this? Is it Penguin? No, the tie bar. Uh, got marked down to $4.97. We have some earrings that were returned to Nordstrom and these were returned. They paid $49 for them. Two of them are in good condition and they're CZ. I might actually keep those. I like wearing CZ. Land of Liberty tie, purple, my favorite color. Oh, and it says love wins. I need to get this up for Pride because Pride is all month in June, right? I better get this listed like today. Uh, this got marked down to $9.97. This damn ugly squirrel. You guys tell me what this is. It's a squirrel or a rabbit? I don't know. I think this is so ugly. <laughs> I feel, I feel bad saying that because some of you always comment and are like, I think it's cute. I think I'm going to lock these up. I think I've received one in each box. So I have a set of four. 
I'm gonna lock these up and sell them. I was gonna donate them, but they're brand new with tags and it retails for $17.99. One of you commented and you were like, you're just not the buyer for that, just sell it. I'm like, I know, but I still think he's ugly. <laughs> Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, right? Jewelry, missing earring, more cashmere hats. We have one, two there. I, by the end of this, I probably have like close to 75 to 100 of these cashmere pieces. This is a halogen 100% cashmere scarf. This got marked down to $74.90. I have a couple of these. I'm keeping a couple of these because I love cashmere and purple is my favorite color. We have a belt. Cute belt, but there's nothing. Oh, it's genuine leather. The brand is Henne Pele Vintage, it, or Heme, it's H-N-E-A. I don't know how to say that. Oh, it's right here too. Oh no, it's Linea. What, where did I get H? I need to put my glasses on. Linnea, L-I-N-E-A, Pele Village. Let me know if you've heard of that. This is in perfect condition, but they wrote in marker here 32. Wish they wouldn't have done that, it's really nice. I'll have to look that brand up, I've never heard of it. More cashmere, I love cashmere. Pillowcase, last one? Last uh, one I got a Kate Spade pillowcase. I don't know what brand this is, but it's a pillowcase that was selling at last chance for 10 bucks. More cashmere gloves. We have some treasure and bond gloves that were on sale for $29. This is a cashmere scarf. Yep, I call it oh, collagen. Halogen cashmere scarf that retailed for $149, got marked down to $75. Um, missing jewelry, earrings. Uh, what is this? Hey, this is a customer return. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. I'll have to untangle it. I think it's a necklace. Broken something. I think this is a mask holder. I think, like a chain for your mask. Melrose and Market, perfect condition. This is a bracelet. I'll put that as part of the jewelry bundles I can sell. All right, you guys, I'm gonna skip some of the jewelry. There's a lot of jewelry in there. We have a Briani belt, handmade in Italy, genuine leather. Um. This is a nice belt. I love the smell of leather. I'm sorry, cows. I was vegan for a year. I tried. I'm so sorry, cows. I, I was vegetarian for five years. I gave it I gave it a try. I love vegan and vegetarian food, so I might become I don't know about vegan. That was a little tough. It's it's easier once you get used to it. It's not that hard, but um vegetarian the thing is i'm dairy free anyways i don't eat dairy right now but i eat meat and seafood anyways halogen scarf 100 percent cashmere we have a gray one what's this a kopi mug k-o-p-i mug self-heating ceramic mug i feel like nicole state got this in her box and she was really excited about this i think in one of her unboxings Keeps drink hot at 500, uh, 500, 55 degrees Celsius, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This is in great condition. I mean, I don't know. It looks like it was used maybe, or I don't know. This looks like it was a shelf pull, meaning it was for, no, it's opened. So I'll have to look that up, but that looks like it's in good condition. I would make sure it works. I'll probably plug it in, but I'm not gonna put drinks in it. Um, another hat, Treasure and Bond, retails for $25, Cashmere, Cashmere, uh, Treasure and Bond Pom Pom hat, I have a couple of those, so multi-quantity listing, I have a couple of these, uh, Free People hats, these retail for $68, um, yeah, I think I have two or three of these, it's really cute, very warm and soft too. Some glasses that were just thrown in, fun, love that for me. Love that. There's no brand here. Maybe just a Nordstrom brand. They're not scratched at all, actually. Really cute. I think in total, so far, I've gotten like 15 pairs of glasses. Some high-end, some not. 
most of them damaged because they're just kind of thrown in the box like this. That's probably been my number one gripe is the jewelry, just the packaging overall. It would be nice if they maybe put the jewelry in the bags, which out of all four boxes, this jewelry packaging has been the best, okay? The glasses though have been trashed because they're just kind of like haphazardly thrown in here. It would be nice, I've seen other people's unboxings where they put them in shoes or they put them in clothes or like wrap them up. Like I wish I had that. More jewelry, but as many of you informed me, and I knew you can still sell um, glasses that are damaged. People buy them for their frames. Uh, Vince Camuto bangle that's in great condition. Cute pink bracelet. It's kind of cute, kind of tacky. It's hot pink. I got a random sheet in my other <laughs> box, and I was like, what is this? I think I showed it. Oh, yeah, I showed it to you guys. We have a sheet, which looks like it's in really good condition. I'll have to open it up. I don't see a brand. I'll do further investigation on that. Um, some more jewelry. These are Teardrop CZ earrings, and these got returned for 59 bucks, but it looks like they're damaged. Another blanket? Or no, this is a scarf from Free People. This is a customer return. This was 58 bucks. Got marked down to 34. It's in really good condition. I can sell that. What's this? Uh, it's just a black bag that says Marshall? I don't know. We'll see if there's something that goes in there. What is this thing? Is this like a mail opener? I don't know. It has this really pretty like stone that has like fake gold all around it, but I don't know what this is. It looks like a fancy like mail opener. I'll have to Google lens that. Uh, gold necklace. I'm pretty sure this is in good condition. And it has a little stone at the end. Adhesive tech card case from Lotus. This might just be a free gift with purchase that I give to someone because it only retailed for $3.97. We have some Tommy Bahama for her uh, perfume spray, which, did you guys know Tommy Bahama made perfume? I did not. This is completely full, huh? I wonder how much this retailed for. There's no price tag. Oh, that smells nice. It's a nice soft, almost kind of like soft baby powder, but more mature scent, but light. Ooh, I want to keep that. I love perfume. I'm a slight perfume addict, but we'll see how much that sells for. This is the Top Shop hat. I always, I also have a couple of these. This retails for uh, 22, and it got marked down to 12. Lots of jewelry. I actually just listed this on my Poshmark today. This is a multi-tool pocket knife. This is great. I love multi-quantity items. These retail for 20 bucks. So now I can just say instead of one, I have two. Um, some earrings, another tie, yuck, uh, jewelry in a bag, I love that. Oh, we have a paper towel holder that's broken. Wow, this retailed for $39. It's the brand Nordstrom at home. That's a shame. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see. It's wonky. Wonky, wonky, wonky. <laughs> it's cute though. I like it. It's a shame it's broken. More jewelry in a bag I have to go through. Another tie from Penguin. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. If I counted, I'm not exaggerating, if I counted all the jewelry I've received in all four of these boxes, and I'm not, I'm excluding the broken stuff. If I just included jewelry that I can sell that's in great condition, I have well over 500 items in this palette. The description said you can get anywhere from 200 to 400 items, but I'm talking about stuff that I can sell, 500 for sure. I mean, I've gotten at least 100 pieces of jewelry that are in perfect condition that I can sell, which is great, but a lot of it I cannot sell. 
We have some little stockings. I forget what you call these, like fishnet socks. Um, these retail for 10 and got marked down to two. I will probably just do free gift with purchase for these. It's not worth me listing. More jewelry. I think this is an ankle bracelet or a necklace. We have some Hunter boot socks. I got these in my last box. I have those listed. I'm fully expecting a lot of this stuff to not sell right now, or maybe it will. I always say, you guys, it is cold somewhere in the world right now. It is hot somewhere in the world right now. The world is large. That's why I love selling on multiple platforms. I love selling on eBay because it's cold and hot somewhere in the world. So these are Hunter boot socks. They're meant to be worn with your Hunter boots, but I mean, technically you can wear them with any boot. Um, this is for, I think I told you, for the Hunter Tall Original. And these were a customer return. Some glasses. These are Tom Ford and they are scratched to MFing hell. Why? Why? Why, why? I might be able to clean these. I can't actually tell. Maybe it's just dirt. But these are jacked up. It says that they're damaged. There's a little tag that says worn and damaged. But, and they're polarized. Like you guys said, I could sell them for the frames. I might be able to get like 20 to 40 bucks just for these frames. That's so sad. Those are so cute too. So cute, but I'll still sell them. Broken jewelry. Jewelry. Jewelry for everyone. Ah. Uh, I think this is an ankle bracelet. Here we have a customer return. This is, oh, there's a fly. I think I've told you guys this struggle. I purchased a couple fiddle leaves from Home Depot and they have flies in them and they won't leave my house. Uh, this is a gold necklace that someone retail, uh, returned for 39 bucks. Okay, let's just leave the jewelry in, you guys. I know I kept saying I'll, I'll overlook it. I'm gonna leave it in there. Halogen, another 100% cashmere um, scarf. A blanket from, oh, Nordstrom Rack makes their own blankets. Ooh, this one's soft too. I've already kept so many blankets from this palette. I don't know if that's worth me selling, but it's a very soft, like faux fur blanket. I already have so many of these. I should probably donate it, but I love them. They're so soft. We have some shoe trees. I've gotten a couple of these in the other boxes. You hear that? That's all jewelry. We Oh, this brand is BP. You know that little shawl thing I showed you earlier? This one has matching pom-poms, though. It's a really cool color, too. That got sent to Last Chance. Um, what's this? Is this a poster? It's prints. Maybe for you to like, oh yeah, it's black and white prints. We have some palm trees, palm trees. I, I'm guessing this was sold as a set in the um, home section. There's no tags or anything telling me anything though. These are cute, I might keep these, I don't know. Either I'll keep them or sell them, but it's like a set of different beach Beachy vibes. What is this? This is the Herschel Supply Company. What, what is it? It looks like a belt. It says, hello, aloha, bonjour, ni hao. <laughs> I don't know if it says ni hao. Ciao, aloha, bonjour. I'll have to look this up. Looks cool. I, I, I'm assuming that's a belt. I don't know. Oh gosh, some more. Oh, I thought these were Tom Fords. These are Cole Haan. These um, are a customer return because I see the return tag. These were on sale for 100 and got marked down to 40. And these are in perfect condition. Oh no, there's a little. See, some of this, I don't know if it's a scratch. Yeah, that's a scratch. That's not dirt. So a lot of these glasses, I'm just gonna have to sell for the frames. Maybe someone will want them. We have another tie, another tie. We have a Tumi wallet that's a little damaged on the Tumi logo. It's like peeling a little bit. 
I didn't know Toomey made wallets. I thought they only did um, luggage, but I could sell this. People love Toomey. It has a very strong following. Uh, I was hoping this was Betsy Johnson. I got a couple Betsy Johnson pill cases. This is Amy Kestenberg, and this looks like a little, little pouch thing. It could be for coins, it could be for pills. Prescription pills, or Tylenol. <laughs> All right, the rest of the stuff in here, you guys, is just jewelry. I'm probably looking at another 20 pieces of jewelry. All jewelry. Okay, we made it. Comment down below if you watched all four of these unboxings. Wow.